Solo started things off saying, who still plays 2K? All my friends and teammates have retired. And that boy grinding the F, he just came out of grinding, I'm sorry, simply grinding says, hey, I'm still playing right now, I'm playing right now. So we already know that the game, hey look, listen ladies and gentlemen, for those in the back, we gonna say it loud for y'all, 2K ain't dead, man. The game is alive, kicking, and well. It could be partially because the community is back talking. It could be because Tassino is back giving them something to talk about. And it could just be because me and Brutal Sim just got dang putting that thing on our shoulders and trying to keep this thing. <laughs> you know how everybody swear they holding 2K on their shoulders, man. So, you know, it is what it is. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment grinding i guess down below that's gonna do two things for y'all man number one if we can average 8k views this month we're gonna be giving away a next gen console whether it be an xbox or playstation or we'll be giving away uh 50 uh, 500 or we're gonna give away a laptop whatever y'all choose man that's number one number two and this is the more important one every single friday we didn't do it yesterday just because i was, it was you know it's birthday weekend i'm out doing birthday stuff it should be we're gonna get it done today whenever i can stream man but we give away 50 dollars in vc cash app or we give away a game of you guys' choice. That's number two. Number three, and this is the really, really tricky thing. Make sure y'all don't talk to the bots down in the comment section. They're trying to convince y'all that I'm on Instagram. I mean, well, I am on Instagram and Twitter, but they're trying to convince you guys that I am on something like Telegram, and uh, and I'm putting my phone number down there for y'all to contact me. That is not the case. And with all that out of the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Hey, man, look. We just gonna get straight into it, man. Money on the floor, let's, let's get straight to it. Man, that boy Power D up, uh, he just says, I swear nobody streaks on 2K anymore. When I, when was the last time you guys saw a 40 or 50 game win streak or what have you? And I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, man. Uh, let's see. Data says, I went on a 30 the other day. What? I don't think it's anything to do with the game being dead or anything like that. One dude says, facts. Facts, last one I saw was uh, a 24 this year or what have you. The real issue is that people just run from streaks now. Like back in the day, if you got the 10 in, in uh, 2K20, in 2K, probably from 16 until 20, if you got to a 10 game win streak, me, Nunu, and uh, Brute, we used to play together. Once you get to 10, you get the sweatiest of the sweats. People calling in favors uh, from other parks and stuff like that, bro. They just like, yo, yo. They, that's what it used to be like if you would play, if you was uh, playing back in the day, man. Like, people was really out there trying to ruin your day, break your streak, and make it be like, <laughs> and make it be like, make you have a bad day if you was having a streak. So you would have a lot of crash dummies just coming in, crashing into it, trying to break the streak. And they would, um, and then they would by proxy build the streak if they weren't very good or what have you. Or if you just beat them, because every now and then, like, you know, for the first five possessions when you're on the streak, you got to play hard, then you'd be like, okay, these guys ain't no good. So, you know, we can kind of relax a little bit. Those things happen. That's just how it goes. But now, once somebody gets on the streak in 2K, nobody wants to play you. Now, I think that it might have been because there was some incentive back in the day. If you broke a streak and posted a video, you were guaranteed views. But now, if you break a streak and post, post a video because Pretty Boy Fredo created the pull-up culture and then he became a victim to it because everybody thought that that's how he came up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull up on him. Then we had my dog, uh, we had my dog Pride. He beat him. That came, he came up off of that. And so then when Fredo left the community and then he made, he made pulling up on people be toxic because he, he, he created it. But then he didn't like people doing it to him. It's like, if you do something, then of course people are going to do it to you because they think that's the easiest way to the top. But uh, at any rate, he did it. Then they started doing it to him and he didn't like it. And, you know, when he left the community, that type of thing left with him. So nobody wants to play anybody that's on the streak anymore because there's no incentive to doing it. People just want to go out there and play games now. But back then, you could be an absolute nobody and post a, I broke a 30 streak back then and you was going to get views. But now there's no incentive. So nobody's going to nobody's gonna play anybody that's on the street. We get to five or six games, we got to clear the street because nobody's going to play. Or you're going to be sitting in the park all day waiting to play. That's the other thing. You're not going to get consistent games if somebody sees you streaking so it's just not gonna happen up next man we got that boy tacino says second wager is going down tonight hey he says uh second ways i'll be playing i'll be playing the man with more hours on 2k than anybody else on the planet legend bullet versus tacino two thousand dollar pot start time 8 p.m. PST. Can Chrissy T and myself take down a legend? Don't miss it. Hey, incinerator with the megaphone like this, man. Uh, second wager tonight. I shall be. I shall be playing with the man with more hours on 2K than anyone else on the planet. On the planet, legend bullet. I see no two thousand dollar port. Start time 8 p.m. PST. Can Chrissy T and myself take down a legend? Don't. 
ain't gonna lie, man. If Tyson can't do nothing else, he like Deion Sanders. He can he can definitely hype some up. And I, and I ain't gonna lie about it. And I mean, it is what it is. It is energizing the community. A lot of people are looking forward to it. I don't know. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all to be honest. A lot of people just do not like Bullet. Bullet, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. As A lot of people don't like Bullet. I don't always see eye to eye with his methods, but one thing you can't deny on this video game, Bullet's a fucking dog. It just is what it is. I'm not gonna lie about that. That ain't no riding or nothing, no sack riding or sack meat sandwiches, none of that. This dude is a dog on the game. I don't think anybody can deny that. You might not like his attitudes. You might not like how he acts. You might think he's arrogant. You might think a lot of things about him. A lot of people think the same thing about me. I ain't got a lot of y'all, but you know the, the difference is I just don't give a But you can't deny that he's a dog at this game, and this is gonna be, this, this is probably gonna be one of the hardest games that he has played, because just like Rat, Bullet is gonna do whatever it takes to win. He don't care how he looks. He doesn't care what it is. He got something to gain. He has the most to gain from this, but you know, by winning the game, he don't care how he win. He's gonna do what it is. You give him the shot, he's taking the shot. If you give him the rim run, he's taking the rim run. It is what it is. It's gonna be very plain, very simple, and I expect a really good game out of this series. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Even the boy, Nate Exit, but he's saying, Hey, looking forward to watching this one because we know it's gonna be a good game if nothing else like I mean it's either they're gonna get routed I'm gonna be honest with y'all this is my prediction it's either gonna be a very good series hard fought series because Tyson and them are gonna figure something out or they're gonna get routed by bullet it just is what it is I ain't gonna cap to y'all bro it's just I think that's just, just how it's gonna go uh and a lot of people probably gonna be thinking that you know bullet ain't gonna win because of his age but just like my boy Big Dog Banner aka Grand Lock Supreme Big Dog Banner that's what he says I didn't know that 2k had an age limit first thing that the young young kids say is old head this old head that like our age supposed to make us play worse we going to forever tap that ass because we actually played the sport and y'all built off youtube videos y'all need new insults to use lmf ao and i'm gonna tell you this nobody ever insulted elon musk for being rich health is wealth as long as i'm here and like my mama used to say and my daddy used to say long as i'm here and i got breath in my body you ain't gonna just do what you want to around this motherfucker, especially with me on that court i'm gonna tell you that right now it ain't got nothing to do with somebody being old how you gonna get mad you why you gonna try to insult somebody for something that you aspire to be old head this old head that don't you aspire to be old if you don't aspire to be old and older i don't want to be around you i'm gonna tell you that because you don't value your life as a matter of fact when i tell people stuff like this you're actually older now than you were when you made that insult there's like what do you mean bro what do you mean what do i mean time passes it does not stop for anybody i want to be say i tell older people all the time bro I want to be your age and they say how you doing dag you big you strong this this and that i tell them if i'm doing half as good as you are when i get to your age then hey i'm gonna be doing all right because if you 60 70 80 90 years old and you still moving around like ain't nothing going on ain't nothing wrong with you you still in good health and you ain't got you know you're not taking a million pills to keep yourself going through your day to day bro you are doing good but i don't understand this whole thing with people not hey i want to get old i never insult somebody for being old because i want to be where they are but you know people they won't insult somebody that's you know that's it is what it is man up next we got my boy hey look it's my boy shakedown 2012 uh fellow old head of the community he says i just found out that if you have a support issue with activision game there's absolutely nothing that you can do about it he says there's no support number no live chat no human to talk to no way to resolve the issue i'm about to get a refund on everything call of duty whatever whatever now there's a way that you can talk to them it's some way that you got to go on to the site and you have to put in a support ticket or whatever like that but at least with 2k you can you have several avenues you can actually call them you can do some stuff with that i think you can call them but anyway it's it's very apparent you can tweet them and they'll direct you to the right ways with activism you see what he's saying there's nothing that he can really find that can help you out and we like to talk about how, how call of duty and all of that is superior to 2k bro y'all know that 
that brute living in the Caribbean, he, that boy damn near in Brazil, and he can still play this game with me. But when we play Call of Duty, we can't play at a high level because they either gonna put me on his server or they're gonna put him on my server. And then we just, you know, one of us is gonna be at a uh, disadvantage and have a bad day. So it is what it is, man. But yeah, he's absolutely right. It's very hard to, con to con connect with and contact Activision unless you like, uh, one of them, you know, one of them content creators that shall remain nameless who names start with an N. Cause she can get to them anytime she want to. Diaz, Biffle, all them guys. I mean, whoever, uh, uh, Swag, all them guys, they got a hotline to them. But, you know, us? Nah, we just regular people. You're gonna have to waste your turn, brother. Hey, up next, we got that boy Cash Nash. They said this is the stiffest dunk, the stiffest, cringest dunk I ever seen. But like Cash said, my boy, hey, look, man, look how I landed. I came down wrong. I can't afford another injury in my life that's right man that's old head talk right there bro when you get past 20 hey it is what it is man hey we got my boy uh stacks out here though man this is something that happens every year i'm surprised that it happened this early this year and they're just talking about this is the creators tier list voted on by the community twitch channel that was fun and uh let me see if i make that if i make it bigger can y'all see it if i there we go there right there so up top you know s tier they got uh s plus tier they got stacks and og constant i ain't got no problem with that man stacks montana y'all didn't know that's a big reason for pretty boy fredo getting a, a lot of his platform so now in the regular s tier four boy saying constant i didn't even know kyle was a 2k content creator but you know it is what it is cash nasty uh we got troy dan I don't know who that is. That's Christopher London. Pretty loves pink. Uh, uh, I, uh, that's my boy Flight, Fake, Duke, Chris Move. Chris Move is waiting on a noob. Hey, uh, who is that? I, I can't see who that is right there. Then we got Davis, uh, Red City Boy, Red City Boy, uh, Cheeseaholic, and then uh, we got Joe Knows. I ain't got no problem with that. A tier, iPod, uh, Mo Buckets, Colder Man, uh, Hoodie Sean. Bro, I don't, I don't know who that is on the end right there. I just, because I, I know the picture, but I just can't tell y'all who it is. Key Sticks is on the B tier. Hollywood, Uncle Demi, uh, what is this, uh, Aaliyah. And I don't know who that is at the end. Y'all got to help me out. And my boy, Big Dog, Big Daddy, Bash, right there. And then we got uh, Lily uh, on the C tier. And then we got Ronnie somewhere out there in Purgatory. So you know it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Because we have one of those every year. And uh, I'm just surprised that it came this early this year. But maybe back, maybe he just wanted to have something to do. My boy, man, man, Grindhard tweeted me, tweeted this at me, man. So first thing we saw, Twitter is working on a software to up the software update will that will show true account status. So you clearly know if you've been shadow banned, the reason why and how to appeal. That's right there. And he said, what if YouTube does this? And I said, you know, this is what I said. Uh, then I know for 100% if I've been banging my head against the wall for no reason for all this time. That's number one. And then I came back and I said, then again, bro, what if, this is just what if, YouTube just sent out notifications to all the people that were subscribed to you like they used to instead of sending them out arbitrarily to the people that they think want to see what I mean, so what you just posted, wouldn't that be cool? I think it would be cool, but you know, y'all don't know how YouTube uh, stuff works, man. That's why I ask y'all to like the video, share the video, comment down below, and I try to incentivize y'all by doing giveaways, doing that, because if you do not like the video or if you do not comment, YouTube will not send it out. So let's, let's say it like this. YouTube sends the notifications out. I got 90,000 subs. YouTube sends the notifications out to like 200 people. If 25% of those 200 people like and comment, then they'll send it to the next 200 people. And, and it's just like that. That's kind of how it works. So that's why I ask y'all, please like the video. Please comment down below. That's why I'm trying to incentivize y'all to do it with these giveaways and stuff like that. Because if you don't, YouTube just not gonna send, send the video out to anybody and it'll be one of those videos where it just is not gonna perform. But y'all already gonna do that, man, because y'all know we doing the giveaway today, so y'all know y'all want this video to perform well, man. Anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Make sure y'all like the video, comment grinding down below, and I'ma holler at y'all next time, till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please, guys, please.